Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura, hail new Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. This way.
Transport ready, Captain. By phaser, Mr. Scott? I've put some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. I've been working on some other options, too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Bach, I need your help. My captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. <laughs> See? No problem. Okay, okay, maybe a little problem. Perhaps I can find a less adventurous solution. Any time now, Spock! <sighs> Thanks. A little forethought next time, and there will be no need for gratitude, Captain. They are dead, Captain. Readings are inconclusive. Very comforting. See that? I did.
Vok, use the stuns! That guy wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. disturbed individual we got to take him out but remember stun only i would not have it any other way who is there can you help me are you sure you want to touch that guy a mind meld is our only option Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything on. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Let's find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Officer, quickly, come in. Savensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rift not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the lab. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. If 
we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Is someone there? Help me, please. Where is it taking me? You cannot hide from me! Down. Don't let them see you. of us can get behind that guy and take him out before he notices? Most certainly, our Starfleet training has prepared us for this moment. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. I can't hear you, but deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. strongly prefer that you use stun. The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming.
just doesn't get any easier, does it? Let's look for another way in. Captain, this access hatch may prove useful. Same toxin we found in the fallen Vulcans, but they do not appear to be infected. They must be the host. You think? Radiation scan commencing. Please step forward for decontamination. Captain, the Helios device. Must not let him escape. Sirach, we are too late. They have taken the Helios device. Does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course.
got something here. Skilled with weapons, Captain. Uh, scan's picking something up. That water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. We need to find a way to cross without stepping in this water. electronics bays. Deploying them may provide the route you need. I believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Kirk, Spock, something has happened to my father. I think the Gorn have taken Sirach. Where is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirach would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Kamar, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Captain, you have reached another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. would be most appreciated.
Doors open. Let's get moving. medical facility. There is a medical facility nearby. I will mark it on your tricorder. Uh, uh. You could pick up the pace, Spock.
The sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can kill that leg. You should hurry. I'm detecting more Gorn approaching your location. Ah, uh, there's a gurney over there. More creatures are approaching your position. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold them off. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I assure you that I am not. This may... Ah, damn it! ...hurt. I believe you should now be able to stand. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I am on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. Prepare torpedoes, fire on my mark. Watch it, Captain, but I can't see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. Hi, sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence.
Omega. That means they are leaving the planet with the Helios device. Scotty, energize! 